Hi, Timothy Unkert here. I thought I'd do a fun post. This post is going to be about seven themes, seven dark themes that I like to use in the Atom text editor. So let's get started. First theme here we have is called Dracula. Now Dracula has a uh, UI theme, which is kind of the outer border here, and the syntax theme. I have both of those on right now. It has some nice purples, some nice yellows, a couple light blues here. This is an HTML document for a blog I'm working on, and some nice yellows. And it really is pleasant for coding long periods of time, especially at night. Uh, it's good visibility, that kind of thing. So my first pick is Dracula. On to the second one. Okay, the second theme that I'm going to pick is Material. Now, Material has a UI theme, which we see on the outer side here with the light green bar here. And it, yeah, it kind of has like a blue light background with some reds, some oranges, some nice uh, kind of light greens there. And light white text. Um, this one is also very good. It's based off of the Google's material theme. Uh, it's very, very popular. Definitely recommend you try this one out. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this next one is a little interesting. It looks a little kind of like dirty, a little brownish kind of, uh, you know, it has some yellow, uh, some oranges here, a little light purple, some kind of yellow green here. And it's kind of like, I don't know, light greenish blue. Now, initially, it might look a little bit ugly, but this one might be the one that you can spend the most time in. And this one is called Groovebox. And you have a Groovebox dark UI theme that I'm using. And also, uh, let's open up the sidebar there so you can see the part of the UI and uh, but also the Groovebox syntax theme. Now, this one is especially popular among Vim users. Uh, it's probably the most popular Vim theme. Um, but yeah, you can spend a ton of time in this theme. Now, when I first saw this theme, I was like, eh, this doesn't look that good. But I find that I do spend a lot of time in Groovebox simply because it's so easy on the eyes. Uh, so if you're looking for a dark theme that's easy on the eyes, definitely give out, uh, give Groovebox a try. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, this next theme may be my favorite theme. Uh, it doesn't have a UI, which is why I included it a little bit further down on the list, or it doesn't have a UI that I know about. But this theme is called Oceanic Next. Um, and I'm using this with the one dark UI, and it blends in perfectly. Uh, it's got some nice bright reds here, some light purples, uh, some oranges, and the text, uh, you know, it kind of goes right with um, the background. I mean, it, it doesn't hurt your eyes to look at this for long periods of time. Uh, this one, I think, is a bit nicer looking than Groovebox, but also one that you can use for a long time. Uh, it makes you happy to code in this theme, and it's just very pleasant. So give Oceanic Next a try. Okay, on to the next theme. Okay, another theme that's really good for long coding periods is Tomorrow Night 80s. This is Tomorrow Night 80s with the One Dark UI theme. Again, uh, this is just a syntax theme, but it's very easy on the eyes. You see the oranges here, light greens, the reds. Uh, it's nothing special to look at, but it's something that you could use for a long period of time when writing code. Uh, it's not going to bother your eyes, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, I really like this one as well. I could see myself coding for long periods in this theme. Uh, if you're looking for a theme that's a dark theme and is easy on your eyes, give Tomorrow Night 80s a try. On to the next one. Okay, this next theme makes me very happy. This is Wes Boss, uh, the Cobalt 2 theme. Uh, this one is, you know, the light blue background. Uh, it's got the greens here, uh, light purples, or light blues, rather, like a cyan type color. Um, you know, a light yellow orange here. The text fades in with the background pretty nice. Uh, this is just with the one dark UI, so it goes along perfectly with that. Um, 
Yeah. And this is one that I could spend a long period of time in as well. And it, you know, it, it gives you that nice feel. It's just got that nice uh, cobalt too is a very nice theme uh, across the board on many different text editors. Uh, so I suggest you give that one a try on to the next one. Okay. This last theme that I'm going to cover is the GitHub dark theme for Adam. Um, I've always kind of liked this theme. It's, it's very nice. Uh, you got some reds that pop out here a bit, but you've got your greens and you've got your blues. It's a very nice dark theme that is that has good contrast uh, and that you can spend a long period of time working in um, as, as well. And, you know, and that's a, a nice looking theme. It's nothing uh, extraordinary, but sometimes the extraordinary themes will hurt your eyes. This one is just a, a very good, solid, dark theme. I recommend giving it a try. In fact, you know, you can try all these themes. It's very easy to install themes. Just do control comma, go here to install, uh, go to themes, search the theme and then install it. And then you can go to themes here and just go down the menu here and you know, change your syntax in your UI theme. If you want to learn more about the Atom Text Editor, I did create a post on uh, answering the question, should I use Atom? And I would give it a try if you haven't tried it because it is an excellent code editor that can be easily built into an IDE if you want. Uh, so you'll see I have the Dracula theme on this post here and I've written some stuff that, that I've done for the setup with uh, Atom, some considerations with the linters um, you know, beautifying your code here, file icons, setting up a terminal and some stuff you can use for other languages. You see, they have like an IDE Python package, Java IDE, um, stuff for C sharp, stuff for C, C plus uh, plus. You can really extend this text editor quite easily like VS code with the click of the button. I found that Adam actually sometimes out of the box, it seems a little faster than VS code because VS code out of the box has a lot more packages installed by default, whereas Adam's more of a bare bones and you can build it up into what you need. Now, that being said, if you install a ton of packages and don't disable any, you're going to slow down the editor, but that happens with any editor out there. So, uh, you know, give it a read if you want and maybe give the Adam text editor a try. It's a free editor, so it doesn't really hurt to try it. Uh, anyways, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.